it's a new face. I think it's a new face. Man, they not for around here. Yeah. I think it's a new face. Lockstar. Greetings, earthlings. This is my introduction. They say greatness doesn't come overnight, so I'm not rushing. Spaced out swag. Best believe I'm paper touching. Super stupid flow, and you bitches can't tell them nothing. UFO, uniquely flying, outstanding. All I speak is cash. I see why you don't. UFO, uniquely flying, outstanding All I speak is cash, I see why you don't understand me Got a sense for drama, so I always keep the cannon This is the invasion, so watch out for our landing Standing tall, never too far Springing summer fashion, bro, I get it in the fall Y'all about to start hating, and I don't mind at all I'm a thriller like MJ, and my flow is off the wall Who that? Who that? It's gotta be my imagination. I think it's a new face. I think it's a new face. I think it's a new face. They not from around here. I think it's a new face. Who they? Who they? They not from around here. It's gotta be my imagination. I think it's a new face. I think it's a new face. I think it's a new face. Man, they not from around here. I think it's a new face. Greetings, Earthlings. I am Walt. Like there's no tomorrow Chris King, KG, N-O-O-B What homes you ain't know, we're U-F-O Cargo khakis, polos, and fresh kicks That's the definition of what the cargo kids is S-O-S, yes, space style swagger I never do anything right, I'm back Go ahead, Brandon Wait, somebody's not Let him in, go ahead, let it roll We're live, buddy Right. Hey, we live, yeah. baby. Hey, well, everybody, hello. Wait, <laughs> hold on. Are we good? Yeah. Hold on. Look. All right. Now, welcome back to oh, the okay. mothership, bitches. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the mothership is crowded in a motherfucker. Man, this is the SS Who That, the number one podcast on this side of the Mississippi. Um, and we have a special, special, special presentation, a very exclusive presentation right now. Uh, we actually, well, hold on, Demario, the captain, say hello. What's up? What's up, y'all? I'm, I'm forgetting. <laughs> we have a, a special co-host um, today from T Talks, hello, hello. Jasmine. You remember that she uh, was one, on one of the early episodes? As I next. was, and I yeah. thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm glad to be back today. Well, we're so glad to have you back, especially for a really, really important um, podcast like this one. So, if you don't know. I don't. If you're underneath a, a rock, there's a nationwide strike going on right now uh, against the the GM at the GM plants with the um, the. Wait, how do I? I want to make local sure. Local 1853. 1850. Thank you. UAW. You know exactly what I was about to. The local 1853 UAW, um, and we were fortunate enough to be able to have some representatives that are uh, on the front lines of the 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 the, the, the picket. The, the picket, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like the silent heroes, the ones, right. the ones really fighting. And so, I want to introduce everybody. Um, I don't know which side to go from. Paco, you introduce everybody. Um, this is Kristen, Ding. Lance, Ding. Steve, oh. Chris. Uh -huh. I don't know your name. What is your name, ma'am? Kate. Kate. And then we got Bob in the back. Bob. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah and they wow. have been. Really? How long has this been going on so far, guys? Four days. Four we days. Sunday, midnight. Well, ten fifty-nine p.m. Central Time. Okay, so they have been doing this for four days. They've been out, and they've been in the in the trenches. Trenches. Man. They've been dealing with police. They've been dealing with locals. They've been dealing with supporters. They've been dealing with everything that's going on. And there's a million and one stories swirling about this situation. So we have them here today so they can they can go ahead and set the story straight. Right, guys? Right. So Some actual facts out here. Right, right. So let's start off. Let's say um, what's the biggest myth right now that the media has swirled, that everything has swirled about what's going on and... That we make ninety thousand dollars a year. Right. That we get two fifty a day for straight pay. 
Yeah, I heard about that. that Two fifty a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably work. <laughs> like why? <what? laughs> <laughs> okay, one at a time. So let's start out with the two fifty a day. False, right? False. Yes. False. Okay. So how much are you guys getting for strike pay? Two fifty a week. A week. This is two fifty a week. So and that's before taxes. <laughs> right. Right. Oh so first and foremost. Debunk that. Oh. All right, they're not getting two fifty a day. No. I knew they wasn't getting two fifty a that's day. That's more than I make working. <laughs> right, right, two fifty a day. Then that's what they would. They wouldn't like, be auto the workers. Said, They'd be professional work? picketers. Exactly. <laughs> so <laughs> you know, and one of out there seven days a week holding our side. Right, right. One of the number one things that bothers me the most is they're saying we're greedy. But we're not just doing this for us. We're doing this for everyone. Right. Our families, our temporary workers, our retirees. You know. Our community benefits from us. It's not just us. You have been coming generations. If we don't put a stand now and make a stand right now, it's going to impact the next generation to come behind us. Because if they get away with keeping as many temps as they want for as long as they want and never happen to hire, you're never going to have a next generation. Right. There won't be a middle it's class. Easy. We're not on strike for ourselves. Uh, right. We're on strike for every American worker out there. Yep. We're on strike against corporate greed. We reached a time when they keep getting more and more and we get less and less. Mm -hmm. The corporations and the ultra rich keep looking at us as we're indisposable, we're yes. irrelevant. Right. They keep taking more and more. Mary Barra made twenty-two million dollars last year, ten thousand seven hundred dollars an hour, right. two hundred eighty-one times the salary of your average GM employee. So let me let me um, kind of jump in here for a second. Whoa. Now, from what I've I've heard, is that part of this strike, a big portion of this strike, is how you guys when they were um, needing bailed out, you gave up your cost of living yes. increases. Yes. And much more. And they had promised you guys that, that back when they got on their feet. Correct. And then they had, a, what, an $8.1 billion profit? Yep. Yeah. And you didn't get that back? No. no. We were told it was called the snapback. When they got back to being profitable, every concession we made would snap back. Mm. And we and never, never, snapped never snapped. So how how like overdue are they on the snapback? Pardon me. How overdue are they on the snapback? Well, like oh, they profited eight point one billion. Well, what, how about, many years ago was that? Like about yeah. 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 two thousand fifteen is when we should have heard I snap back because they were profitable in two thousand. Oh, they're four years late. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, I mean, in that case, you guys have been pretty patient. Yeah. <laughs> Ten years. You like, know, let me jump in. Didn't you work that was in 09, with right? us at one point? Yeah, I did. I did work with you guys at one point. Oh, and then in 2015, that's when they it was supposed to snap back. That was the first time I seen a raise in a decade. Yeah. So they just gave you a raise. They didn't actually, like, there was no yeah. snap back to anything. In almost 15 years, our base rate has went up about 5000 annually. I got just about 2 bucks in almost 15 years. Two dollars an hour over fifteen years, two thousand eighty hours in a standard year. That's four thousand one hundred sixty dollars more a year that I make now than I did fifteen years ago. When Mary Barra in two thousand thirteen made seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, and now she made over twenty two million dollars this year. Right. In That's six it. years, she went from seven hundred fifty thousand dollars to over twenty two million dollars. Oh wow! And I've made in fifteen years five grand more in a year. Okay. Oh. That's what we're on strike against. When a guy like Jeff Benzo makes nine million dollars an hour. Yeah. Yet he just cut his health care for his 1,900 food workers because $9 million an hour evidently isn't enough for him. Right, and see, that's news, what we're on strike against. You have against. the news just talking about our health care. Right. But that's, that's a big blow. It's a big right. part. Because we've got a lot of people that need things. Yeah, yeah. That's I heard a, the only thing. Uh, a story of a woman that was, well, she was being prepped for surgery. Yes. And they had to stop it because of the insurance being cut. It was a young girl, she was getting a gallbladder. Oh, this is real. Yeah, yes. yeah that's yeah. real. Yeah, it's real. And there's thing. more than yeah, just that. They stopped it in the prep. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. had a retiree that had surgery, and his son came in the room, and he woke up and said, "Dad, your insurance was canceled." Yeah. Are you kidding me? You know. Yeah. It's ridiculous. And people, a lot of people don't realize that the retirees have taken quite a hit too. Um, what was it? Uh, they're not. There's a premium that they're not getting paid anymore, and I think. The last two contracts, they haven't got a raise, but ever the last, what, 10, 20 years they've gotten raises? Retirees now. These are people that yeah. are retired yeah. from General Motors. You know, and my, grand, my grandfather passed away in 2016, and my grandmother counts on that little bit of pension that he gets, that $220 a month. Yeah. You know? So we got to fight for them, too. It's not just us. Right. Oh. Right. Um, let me think. So what, what's another myth that needs to be debunked right now? 
talk about our $90 an hour. Yeah, $90 an hour. $90. I, we are okay. not thugs. I promise you, we are not, <laughs> not out there causing trouble. What our, what our word is, we're trying to either convince these trucks to turn around and stand with us, or just stop. derail them and stop them and delay their shipments. Respect Maybe if we them. can make an impact, GM will see that and say, hey, look, if we don't stop this, they're not going to stop, and we're well, not. So are they trying to use the fact that... Um, uh, but yeah, that, was that yesterday or two days ago when um, they actually called the police out there and everything? Are they trying to use it as like to paint you guys as thugs? Yes, yes. that is yeah. their tactic. That's exactly that's their tactic. They, they don't antagonize that. that to try to draw reaction. We're impeding right. traffic, yeah. which is a They've citation, been, and people are going to jail for it. Right, that's routing trucks really, from their really. truck entrance to the employee entrance on purpose. On purpose because ah. the daycare is down there, so that they can create a ruckus. And make it look like we're creating a problem. Yeah. And the daycare people are scared and all that. And, and the problem That's is, what they're trying to do. we're so passionate about what we're doing. And you have a lot of us that just, they, when like me and Steve, for example, and Chris. Right. And Bob here, I'll tell you. When we get upset, we're just like, we don't think. We just yell. Right. You know, and a lot of people do that. We all do that. Right. Yes. So we're passionate and it gets us mad and heated. So when you sit down and you're yelling at somebody, not talking, they don't understand. We have people from Lordstown, Ohio. We have people from Michigan. We have people from all over the place. Shout out to and Michigan and Lordstown. Everything is different laws. Right. And I had to explain that to the sheriff this morning, well, the deputies, and explain to them why we were doing this. And finally this morning, they got it, you know, and, and they were on our side this morning when I was right. picking. I got there at 2 a.m., I left at 10.30 this morning. Yesterday at 2 a.m., I left at 10.30 this morning. Right. And they understood finally. Right. For the first time. So, all right, one of the things that uh, kind of surprises me, um, I'm from Michigan originally, so I, we just deal with you this is just the way it is. But down um, down here, there's it's really like it's like spam. You either like it or you don't. You know what I mean? But there's a lot of people that like like you said, the deputies don't actually understand why you're there. Right. So and what's it like while trying to actively do a strike and they, and teach people and like inform people on why you're there at the they, same time? They think we should just give up our jobs to scabs. And I've heard I've heard no, a lot. They of think that. we should just give up our jobs. To, to who? To scabs. What, Define scabs for is, the people. What a scab is is a non-union worker, someone who's basically taking our job in an or event cross, like this. Crossing the pay line. Crossing a picket yeah. line. One that's cutting right. his own throat and don't realize it because as organized labor membership drops and declines, there's a direct correlation to the standard of living of every American. Right. It started back in the 80s with yeah. the first trickle-down policy. As organized labor went down, the standard of the average American went down because everybody benefits when the union gains. Yep. And say that again for the for, form. For, um, all right, so since the 80s with the first trickle-down policy, yes. you're talking Reagan, right? Yep. All right, so since then, there's been a direct correlation with when, when the unionized numbers go down. The standard of living for everybody across the board yes. drops also. Yes. Now, see, now that's something that I'm the guy guarantee they is not known. The data's yeah. out there. They just right. right. And that's and that's what we're doing here today. That's why you guys are here. That's why everything's yeah. going on is so we can spread this word to more than just people who are directly involved. Yes. You know because that <laughs> that fact right there. If we're working with our benefits, we're setting the precedence. Mm -hmm. All right. So these other companies. <clears throat> they've got to set a standard too. Yep. So if our standards are way down here, theirs are going to be even further down. You yep. think we right. someone would be paying them their employees what they're paying them if it wasn't for us? Right. Exactly. 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 Could you exactly. step this way just a little bit so, so we can see you? Get you? Yeah, there you go. Go ahead. Go ahead. We want you yeah. on the camera too. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, can scoot that back. Fact, when the yeah, bankruptcy occurred, I still have it somewhere if I dig it up because I'm a pack rat. Okay. Right. There's an actually a memo that we have a copy of from Ford, or not Ford, but... uh. Toyota, Honda, and Nissan. Right. The unions were weak. We were in a vulnerable point because of bankruptcies, and everybody painted the light that it was our fault. But once right. again, we aren't the ones making twenty-two million dollars a year. Right. right. That they could now lower the wages and the benefits of their employees because they felt the threat of the union coming in was less. Right. So the moment that they think the union's not going to get there, the less they're going to make. Yes. Right. So we're not against the company being profitable. No, no. They but get better, clear we that better. because yes. we have a program what's called profit sharing. When the company earns a billion dollars, we get a thousand dollar bonus. Nice. So we're not against the company being profitable. No, we, we just want it. them. We just want them to share some of those profits with the people, the yes. backbone of the company who help build 
their vehicles that they're selling. Right. They make in between fifteen and thirty thousand dollars every seventy some seconds that a car rolls off that line. Yes. All right. Now, here's another myth, yeah. right? At our plant. You got your vehicle, your average vehicle out there is thirty thousand dollars. Your average vehicle. Twenty to fifty, sixty, seventy, depends on what you're buying. Right. Five percent of that vehicle's cost is us. Twenty five is Mary Bear in them. Oh wow. So oh, is that, is that so, so twenty five so twenty five percent of car. Yeah. Wait. Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, we here. built the foundation. We are building their foundation. So Over only five percent of the of the average cost. I, I think cost it's going up a little bit. I may have misspoken. I think right, it's going up a little bit yeah. to seven. Yeah, but, it's right. in between six and eight percent, depending what, on what? which analyst you wanna which fudge book numbers you wanna so, buy off of. <laughs> right. Proud of you. Then, yeah. then so <laughs> hold on. We're like family, you guys. You have to understand that, okay? Could you t- turn the phone down a little bit? Sorry, go ahead. Whoever's phone that is back there needs to go down. Okay, but you go know ahead. Sorry, saying? guys. Iron in 1995, and that number is about the same. Right. So we haven't increased the cost of the vehicle, but the vehicles have increased exponentially Tremendous. compared to what my pay rate and then, standard living is. And then all the imports they bring in from Mexico that are even cheaper and they're making huge profits on that. Right. That's why they keep outsourcing most of our jobs to Mexico. Right. Mm-hmm. I was going to say, what's the what's the chance of, of things getting moved to Mexico? I mean, what do you? how do y'all feel about that? It's hard to move it overnight. Yeah. yeah. Not only that, they're having issues in Mexico now because the Mexican workers have demanded and refused to increase their production numbers to make up for our strike. They have a strike. So they're standing with you. Yeah. They're standing with us. Oh, yeah. Mexico. Hey. All right. We got the Teamsters that come in and bring them, take them cars and bring them. They decided we're going on strike and we're standing with you. So these people that are coming in and getting these cars, they're all independent. Oh, so wow. As I we said had, earlier, this ain't just about us. This is about all of American workers. We these have issues we're facing is worldwide. It's yep. not just in America. What, we, what, what, what really screwed it up for us was NAFTA, North American Free Trade Alliance. We need to get that taken care of up in Washington, D.C. Okay. Because that'll stop this Mexico thing. Right, so, right. So what happened with NAFTA? Like, I've heard a lot about that when uh, Donald Trump says it was Because you're to get them back year. across the border. Taxes. Like, if you had to equalize out okay. when you're bringing them back into the country, yeah. it wouldn't be as beneficial for them to build them down there at such a lesser way. Oh, there's, so there's no tax on the actual bringing so them not, in. When oh. they're bringing them in, it's wow. minimal, so they're making huge profits on it. That's why they'll build so many units down there and bring them in here because they can make a bigger profit per unit because they're paying those guys what? What is eight it? Bucks. Eight bucks? Five, eight bucks. Right. It, it's, I mean, it's Crazy. minuscule. Now, wow. let me ask, can I ask you something? Yeah. What was your experience when you were out there with us? Um... I mean, let me tell you, first and foremost, I worked out in, what is it, is it CUC? Is that the building? Yeah. I didn't work on the line with you guys. I was uh, cleaning filter press. But you seen what it was like. Oh, yeah. I was Tyvek, Tyvek suit. And I was working with all the dangerous, like, chemicals and stuff out there. And a problem I had with it is I was making the same amount of money as the woman who changes the toilet paper. In the bathroom, but I was out there with uh, the hazardous, thing. yes, that that cause cancer. The next yes, and burn mm. your skin, right? Mm. Yeah, I was in a training class one day. I don't know if you guys remember this a few years ago when they had that, was it like a 120 gallon sulfuric acid, the reservoir leaked, and it, yeah. yeah, yeah, that stuff. And I was supposed to be out there, but I was in a training <laughs> class on hazardous, hazardous materials at the time, so I mean, my t- it was different, I wasn't necessarily on the line. I've but, had a lot of experience at gym. Um, I'm a, I'm a, a temp worker like a motherfucker. So, <laughs> yeah. right, right. What do, what do they consider to you guys? Um, the third parties, the scabs. What do they call them? Scabs no, and then the third no. parties are not scabs. Oh, they're not scabs. Those are not scabs. Okay. What thank is? You, are they? Thank you very much. What do they consider? They just, I forget what they're considered. <laughs> they're, they're a subcontractor. Yeah. They're a vendor. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We so, call them third party. Most of them are union brothers and sisters enrolled that's true. in 1853. And and. Name, could you name off some of these companies? Because I know these I people. Well, let them, let them take. Let them take. <laughs> you can start. Yeah. 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 You can start with the first yeah. one. Name, yeah, I can name knock, one. I can knock these out. Uh, Brandon, go ahead. And name one. All right. Well, first, my, my first thought was Ryder. Okay, yeah. Ryder. Yeah. Who else? You guys. Ledek. Yeah. Hold on. Stop right there. Ledek is forced to cross the picket line. They are not forced. They have lanyards that say a um, UAW. 
Yeah. Safe passage, and we are letting them go but because they, they are contract. UAW just like us. Right. But they don't have a contract. They yeah. work for a different company. They're right. Right. Sixteen months right. without a contract. But they are UAW members. They're going okay. how long without a contract? Sixteen months yep. without yep. a contract. Yeah. yeah. Is that even allowed? Is that American legal? food they, they vendors. They do what they call an extension, extension until they come up with an agreement because they make a process. So an indefinite hold. Yes. The problem with the lead act. <laughs> oh, they good with these words, aren't they? <laughs> uh, the reason the problem with difficulty with lead act. A lot of the other janitorial services through General Motors are on strike, but mm. they were with a company called Aramark. Right. Now there's one master agreement nationwide for all the janitorial services. But we have more than one company under that national agreement. Uh, so Lead Act's holding off to see what the national the agreement goes. Agreement with. comes out for the, the whole janitorial service. Right. And let me say this about Lead right Act. Now okay. With us, they're still working. We're on strike. They're holding off to see what we get so that they don't Pattern get started. Yeah. And yeah. some okay. of them have called out. Right. Me and Chris yeah. right here okay. can vouch. Sunday night we met up at Embers to get some food because uh -huh. I, I went in the, pl the plant and I was I'm a rep just like. And we walked stamping, skills trade, power train out uh -huh. when we struck. I met Chris at Embers, and oh, there was a whole crew of Ledeck in there. Right. And they, he's selling shirts for $12, and they bought a ton of them. Right. Every one of them walked out with a red shirt right. and told us they loved us. And we told them, you, we got your backs. We understand. You have mortgages. You have families. Right. Go in there. Do your job. It, you won't have much work. And then when you're done, come stand with us. Right, right. I had 100 you know? shirts that night, and I was gone in 20 minutes. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. As long as they ain't doing our job and they're doing their regular job, they're not a scab. Right. Okay. I understand. I understand. Sorry, Lee Dick. My they bad are job. our eyes and ears. <laughs> right. I'd like, to, I'd like to address working conditions inside the plant. Okay. Uh, um, b before you do that, just real quick, uh, what's the significance of the red shirt? Like, why, why the red? Solidarity. Solidarity. Solidarity is our colors. For the blood of our brothers that were spilt that come before us to pave yep, the way. Jim. I knew somebody was going to give me that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my yeah. grandfather retired. He walked out in mm -hmm. Framingham, Massachusetts, with fifteen hundred people behind him. Wow. People yep. don't realize when it started, they actually murdered organizers. Yeah. Right. No, I remember yeah. my mother has been on like four or five figure lines. She said when she was hired in in the early seventies it was like a five fifty. Right. 550 so you have to look people a lot of people don't understand what the union has done for the workforce and think about it in the 70s they're making five 550 you know so that's strides to where we are today that 550 they were living better than we are now because of the cost of living back then yeah. exactly yeah. gas yeah. was a loaf of bread everything was cheaper back then you could have a one-income family in 1970 and making that type of money when you only made 30 grand a year. Right. Back now, then, right. sorry, I had to take it. Back then, if you worked 40 hours, you could support your family with dignity and pride. Mm -hmm. We have millions of Americans that work 40, 60, 80 hours and still require government assistance to put food on their table. Yeah, paycheck to paycheck lifestyle. That is unacceptable yeah. in this right. right. that vehicle. Sixty, seventy thousand dollars for a car now. Right. Fifteen hundred to a thousand dollars back then. Right, right. Yeah, it always trips me out when I watch a show and they, they talk about like an old Chevelle and they're like, Yeah, I paid two grand for that right. thing. And yes. so I'm like, Oh right. like I'm early. still paying two grand for one of them. Everything the union's done to jump off what he said. Right. The union has never been just about the people they represent. Nope, never. Unemployment, workman's compensation, paid vacations, paid oh, holidays. Nice. Workman's compensation, Second unemployment union. benefits, right. all these issues that are now laws Health and were brought issues. to you by the union. Right, we are the ones that got them. You, Back in the 60s was, when we were 30% yep. of the world the <clears throat> working throat> force, that's what got them. Over a third of your country was organized. We demanded it. We stood as one. We stood strong, and we got it for all. That's right. Wow. Mm. You know, with the health insurance, too, people are like, well, we pay premiums. We pay premiums. <laughs> and people don't realize I've been there since 2016. I've been through two surgeries. Right. These jobs are not easy. Oh, I mean, they, they tear you mm -hmm. down. You are sore every day. And when we, when I first started, we ended up being on critical status, which was 12 hours a day, seven, seven days, days a week. week. Right. And it's hard. So if our bodies are breaking down like this, by the time I'm 40, by the time I'm 60, I'm going to be so, in bad right. shape. I'm 34 Why years shouldn't old you be paying our well. premiums as much money as you're making right. off of us? I have... On my shoulder alone, I have where a chemical dripped in paint. It's just a drip, just a single drip. Yeah. And it's a discoloration. 
All my oh, shirts. that came from <laughs> that came from shop. the plan. And I work, oh, yeah. And I work in the paint shop. And yeah. I'm not on the line yeah. covering his alternate committee. Right. I'm on the paint. I'm in the paint shop. Right. To prove these jobs aren't easy, being an auto worker, look up everywhere there's an auto factory, and just notice how many physical therapies there are. Oh yeah. How many bone doctors there are? Mm. How many orthopedic surgeons there are? Right. Yes. They are imploded. Yes. right there around right. all the auto factories for a reason our right. jobs are very difficult we're not lazy and overpaid like no. everybody thinks no. we don't we all sweat. go in there and sleep take naps all day because somebody's building them cars and rolling them down the line when and i first sweat. got hired into ford motor company in 2000 the you'd meet people coming out the gate hey how you doing got all my fingers and toes we're good right <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, yeah. it's yeah. that real in there i'm 34 years old and i got nerve damage in my right elbow and i've been employed by general motors for three years it's and gm easy. won't do anything for me and i got workplace uh incident reports oh, wow. they, won't, they won't do anything for me yeah and you were about to say about the work the work conditions i think that i mean you know work i've work been stuck good. on the same job for six months at a time you know uh, repetitive it, it, what, what you're doing is you're doing you're assembling the same thing over and over again every 60 to 70 seconds right roughly 70 some seconds and <clears throat> some jobs have heavy things you got to pick up that's anywhere from 40 to 50 pounds usually about 45 pounds uh, we do have air assisted hoists and stuff like that but right. you still got to bear the weight of that stuff right you're doing it for anywhere from 8 to 12 hours you're doing it for two and a half hour runs yep. without a break I'm listening so, to it after hood. You're constantly yeah. hanging constantly doors. Moving. And yeah. putting Ooh. plugs in the car and sealing them. Right. And sometimes right. we run 310 cars off my line. Are we complaining? Yeah. No. It's a good job. Nope. But it's it's very strenuous on our bodies. Right. It just you know, we're we're just showing the importance of the health insurance and yeah. the importance. And that's why. Yeah, go ahead. That's why that's why it's important that we have extra things on our health care like chiropractor. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yo. It is. Thank you. We don't right now. No. Dude, yeah, sure. All right. it's out of our pockets. <laughs> well, at Adian, we have to keep it, you know, with with, with GM runs. Mm -hmm. And just uh, maybe like two weeks ago, or whatever, we were doing um, six days a week, twelve hour shifts, whatever. Right. So I knew it was gonna be a good check though. And I start <laughs> walking around and, and I start asking people like, "Yo, what does a chiropractor do?" And they were like, "I really don't even know." Like so, <laughs> so all of us like talking. We're like, "Hey, I think I need a chiropractor." They're like, I think I might need one too. And like we finally uh, our, um. Like team lead came down the line and we we're like, hey, 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 like can we get like a chiropractor? Can like we get that like red off or something like that? He was like, yeah, yeah. Just, you wish. Good like, luck with that. But man, but we need a chiropractor on them. Yeah, I don't even know what they do, do like that. It just yeah. like, so they don't like they can give you yeah. size really quick. Yeah. Is it in and in Adian? No, well. The way that it was told to me when I got hired. Oh, be <laughs> careful. Be careful. We love how that works. Yeah. No, we, that we had, we have a, we have union. The contract isn't done, but we we already have a union rep. The union rep only works on night shift, so we ain't seen that nigga yet. So, <laughs> so we got a union. We just don't know it, and the contract is there. It just ain't finalized. Right. So we ain't got a union. And even if it is finalized, even with just one. Union rep on one shift. It's not, it's easy. not gonna be enforced. Right. Yeah. That's, yeah. It's like right. nothing. It's, we don't really get anything out of. That's why you need to vote for Bernie Sanders. He's putting a lot. Oh, bro. You, you need to listen to the song. I'm here, bro. Yeah, I knew I knew it. It. I knew it. We're not going political today. I know. I know. We're not I going know going what you're I knew he was gonna do this. So I ain't even brought him up yet. We're not going political. Go Sanders. I can say that. Go Sanders. This man. He stands with the union, bro. Yes, he does. Man, I want to. I want to bring him up so bad. I was like, don't do it. <laughs> I, had to say that I was gonna go you down know, that road. Right, right, right. talking about union reps too. You know, let me just throw this out there. Me and Steve are union reps. We're both alternates, and our job is not easy. I mean, you know, and we try. And this right here, she's she's in my zone, okay. And and all she's got to do is pick up a phone and vent, and I'm always there. You know what I mean? Right. It's all about communication, and we and it, but it's not easy. So just give us time. Right. You know, everybody's got to work with us. Right. So um. Let's talk about some of the incidents y'all have experienced on the picket line. Is this and how many of you guys is this your first time picketing? Mine. Okay, so let's talk about some of the incidents out there so we can debunk some of the uh, the stories. Okay, yes. um, let's let's start off with the truckers. 
and what's going on with that? Tell you Is what. somebody get hit by a truck? I've There's got a video several. of a truck trying to run us over. Several? Yes. Several. This morning, one almost hit me, and I was just trying to cross the road. Yeah. I'd luckily, I had a deputy run up there and jump in the cab and be like, whoa, 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 no, it's right. not going to fly. But up there, they're not giving us a chance to even talk to them. I mean, right. like I said, we just want them to stand with us, turn around, or we're going to make you wait. They right. hit people with trucks. So yes. they're like, they well, braised some girl's leg and cut it wide open. Well, Go ahead, Jess. Um, Go ahead, Jess. What you asking? Um, I was just somebody really got hit by a truck. A few <laughs> people like got hit, Monday. not just by trucks. Really happened. I have video of truckers passing people on the shoulder of the road on 396 coming into an on ramp. So that shoulder of the road turns into an on ramp. And That's there's a full truck? Are being. Yes. Yeah. Full transport truck. What gives them so you the... got 17 vehicles on there? Video, you can see the trailer rocking because he went onto the berm, so you, the whole Oh. Road, he's lucky he didn't tip over. Why are they, why are they being so, like... Aggressive. Yeah. What's yeah. going on? But they here? think we're being aggressive. And we're not. We're not. We're just trying They're to They're in a them. truck. Like, you're an 18 yeah. woman. Like, yeah. like, yeah, can you see her stopping a truck? Yo. Hey, right. listen, I might be small, guys, but y'all right. know. <laughs> <laughs> I got me a pile. You know me. You know right, me forever. Right. Right. <laughs> so, that video where we're trying to slow a truck down. Yep. See what his intentions are. Are, are you with us? Can, you know, yeah. hang me, out, hold some things up. Let me jump in here. Explain to the viewers what your purpose in stopping the truck is so they'll understand... All right, so what you're doing, why we're on, you're doing we're on strike, okay? I have friends that are independent truckers in Michigan. They haul storm equipment, stuff like that, right? All right. They got on my Facebook, hey, you ain't doing the right thing. That's not right. You shouldn't be blocking traffic. Number one, we're in a different environment. We're not blocking traffic. We're mm -hmm. an access point off of the main roads. Right. So it's not affecting traffic at, at all. all. All right, so that truck going into that plant to pick up vehicles, that's giving the company more dollars. That's right. that's enabling them to make more money. Yeah. yeah. We're not against them making money, okay? But they're not gonna make it while we're on strike with non-union scab drivers, mm. okay? It's a double-edged sword. Because where are we getting our If funds? they get all them cars out, they got no more cars. They gotta make more, right? It's, it's mm. cars that we built. But yeah. if they don't get them, they're not making the profits on those and then the, the pressure directors and stuff are on them to get these plants running again because they got to get these cars out. Right. right. So it's a double edged sword. Tool. Yeah. So that, so technically they're extending the strike by contributing to General Motors. Correct. Exactly. Yes. They're going to lose right. their jobs as soon as we get back up and running and the Teamsters go back to hauling cars. It's not like they're getting anything out of it. There's it's, no a it's a cash for grab for them. They have to come in and okay. just do it now because it's not a long term game for them. The Teamsters are going to be back. They have a contract too. They'll be in there pulling cars back out. So but, that adds to their aggressiveness. Sorry to cut you off, but, right. but since they, they know that that's not a, a permanent job, that's just a cash grab. Right. So they really yep. Plus you have right. pretty much balls so to the wall. They don't late, care. They can go on, on the side of the ramp. I had a driver. That's dangerous. Man, I got to get in there. I got to get that load. I, I got a family to feed. That, yeah. Dude, there's 4,000 of us out here that's got families yep. to feed. Yep. Now, I'm sorry, exactly. but our 4,000 families trump yours yep. yeah. and we're out so there you're an independent family trucker. Just as well. you can go pick a load up somewhere else and you don't have, have to get you this made load. a decision mm -hmm. to come here take work from the teamsters and undercut them yep. for the short time that you're going to get to while we're on strike yeah because you wanted to feed your family when you could have went elsewhere and hauled other cars right you could have went and hauled yeah. beer yeah. for yeah. <laughs> this company we, yeah. still pump them out. we weren't even holding him he right. stopped arguing with us and he's like this company doesn't give a damn about y'all. And they were like, well, they don't care about you either. So nope. get out of the truck and stand with us. I have mouths to feed. So I was like, look, I got six to feed. I yeah. a grandbaby. And he was like, I don't want to hear it. I'm like, well, get out and stand with us. Right. Be proud. We'll back you. Our union will back you if you get out and stand with us. Right. He wasn't having it. So yeah. But that's lack of, of information. And, and yeah. Yeah. He doesn't realize yep. that yep. statue said with, with the... the the union and the standard of living. Yep. I think once people know, once you know that type of information, you can't really just be like, yep. oh, well, the hell with what you guys are. And there right. are some of them out there that are with us. We yes. had one pull up at Northgate. It pulled up. It started backing up. It turned around. It's going yep. the wrong way, right? Mm -hmm. It's going the wrong way. He's getting out of there. Well, then he, he got a ticket. City stopped him. He pulls back up. He says, hey, guys, I support what you guys are doing. I don't want nothing to do with this. We're going somewhere else. And we've else. had a few of them just kind of walk and so go. Right. And that's, that's cool. the point we're trying to make. Cool. If we can get one truck to turn around, guess what? We made a difference. Yeah. We got through to somebody. Why yeah. should that company make money when we're not? 
Right. And you're the workers for the After they went back on their work. We were supposed to have our health care until October 1st. Yeah, that's what What's going on with the health care? Yeah. That company is only want to give us 2% of what we're asking in the contract. No, I think they mean like the agreement was if we go on strike, we keep our insurance until October 1st so that we can all register through the union to have our benefits. And everybody finds out Monday that it's cut off. And some of them went to go into chemotherapy. And they get in there and they're like, you don't have insurance. I'm like, are you kidding me? They pay our premium for our health insurance the first of every month. So it was already paid for. Going it on. cost them nothing to leave it alone. Yep. It cost them to go cancel that. And the insurance really did that. It cost them to cancel Basically, kind of like you quit, yeah. your, job. So you quit your job. So when you quit your job, your insurance, insurance rolls till the end of the month. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. Every job. They just, they Cut went in and manually. Yes. They went yeah. in and manually. Right. We're done. And right. that's Mary Barrett. And they've oh, never done yeah. that in the past. And then they want to get on national media and talk about how they care about us and how that they want this. They offered us a good they deal. They gave us good deals. What do you, what do you yeah. mean a good deal? You just cut off. Listen, right. just I'm, cut coming, I'm from Lordstown where I came from an unallocated plant. That language never even existed until last November when they decided to call it unallocated. They so, couldn't, because of contract contractual law, they couldn't call it a closed plant or discontinued product because we had a contract for that product. Right. So they used unallocated to close down Lordstown. They are oh, where is that? Where is that plan? Ohio. Ohio. Oh, that's that's what I heard. With all the Ohio that's folks why I came this shirt on. Mm-hmm. And let right. me just set this for the record, okay? A lot of the Lordstown people, you know, they've had a lot of animosity when they came here. And I can say this right now. I'm from Massachusetts. We came in here. There's a lot of plants. And these Lordstown people are like my family. Right. I mean, I would trust them more than, you know, anybody out there. It, it, I mean, the right local, here, I just met Chris on Monday, and I, I trust him with my life. Yeah, we're the bad life. one. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm a rebel raiser. Right. 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 Now 17, 14, that was a good local there. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> you know that. Yeah. Side you know of the know we right. bring anybody in our family. Right. They just sit there and go, oh, they're causing trouble. Wow. So it was, it was kind of like uh, the push we got from the locals when we came from yeah. Michigan down here in the beginning. That's kind of what the Ohio folks had to experience. Yeah. Yeah. I was 17 here, and I had to experience there that. There was so awful. much segregation, to be honest with you. You have so many new hires. That he, actually he's talking inside nothing. the plant. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. And, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Don't you go there, stuff. Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all about to start talking about one of his favorite topics. <laughs> we can yeah, a little here. Here. <laughs> you got, you got all these guys that were hired in 12 and 16 and stuff, and a lot of guys don't know. Right. <coughs> we, we have some that do, right. and they understand it but a lot of guys don't they don't understand they don't know right and that was a big thing for us because back home we had that you walk through the door now for me i'm a third generation auto worker my grandpa was a mill right my dad retired after 40 years so i i kind of walked in knowing right you always had that you walked into a plant where most of these people had 20 something years Mm -hmm. you had that big brother thing they they watched out for you they showed you the right way what you can and can't do what we call solidarity And And, and some of it wasn't like that Right. But in the defense down here, a big part of that is where we come from in Ohio, unions aren't new. Unions are still relatively new mm. in the South. Yep. Yeah. Right. And then that's, and that's, that play, that's playing a very, very big factor yes. in the overall that's people why are I looking think the at, at this strike. Yes. Well, that was yeah. it's, it's still right. 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 Relatively but when I new. Down because when we discussed the, one of the mm-hmm. correlation, yeah. they've done a good job the big corporations of keeping that information from everybody in the yeah. South. Mm-hmm. Right. They think unions are bad. Yes. Right. And then, yes. you know, the the natural yeah. South word relation yeah. to union. You know what I mean? Which it goes further right. back than just yep. this job, you know? Oh, I see what you did there. Yeah, you see what I did there? Yeah. Oh. So, yeah. yeah. So the the a lot of people in the South are automatically <laughs> attuned to the word union anyway. Yeah. yeah. Beyond auto workers, beyond any sort of workforce, anything like that. And I think that plays just a small part in it. You know what I mean? You catch a lot of flack from it. But I, every time I've ever met anybody that's down here that's working in the plant, that's really hating against the union and stuff like that, I try and tell them to do their homework. Yeah. Because, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the big pushing was done in the 70s, and, you know what I mean, the 80s and stuff like that. And they need to learn where we would be without that. 
Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So. Oh, you gotta no, go no, back further than that. Just, oh, of, of course. Mean, Henry yeah. Ford was the last one to get in. He literally hired armed thugs. That there's pictures. Thugs. Yeah. 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 Of the. Yeah. Of the um, <laughs> he was the Jesse Jesse Smollett. Smollett. <laughs> <laughs> the auto when they tried to organize Ford. I don't know. It was, a, it was an all-out brawl. <laughs> right. When they fi- and finally they broke them and they unionized them and for years. We had prosperity with the big three. Right. It was us in the UA. It was them and us, and we were fine. Right. But they've been they've been holding on to it for a long and time. They we to stood get... behind them and gave them things so that they could survive for their survival. Yep. During the bankruptcy, we all gave up stuff, and then now they don't want to look back and go, "Oh, hey, you're the backbone that got us here. If you wouldn't have done what right. you did, we would have yep. collapsed." They gave it. Then people gave it up so that we can make this. Let's see what else they'll give us. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. GM, GM cut our health insurance to try to break us. Yes. Oh, yeah. It, it's that's not okay. It's That's crazy. That That's almost your shield us. to being out there um, battling cars and trucks and yeah. angry people. Now you're out there uninsured. Yeah. If you get hurt nah. out there. No, our, our union's our picked union up our insurance. Oh, they got you. Yeah. See, we had to wait on the paperwork. It was yesterday and today when we registered. Okay, explain, yeah. that, to, right explain that to the viewers real uh, quick. The union, union put a fund together and it pays our insurance. Now, we don't have vision, dental, or audio, but our major health care is covered up by okay. the union right now. So, no, here's the thing. The union's not paying for that. That's coming out of the dues that we've paid. Yeah, right, that's strike part of your union dues. Anything that you can pay for, that. we've all put. Yeah. Just like our down. strike fund. Yeah. With our money that we get, $200 so, a week, that's us. Yeah. Now, the reason I said that is because the union is us. Yes. Right. right. There's no General Motors, the union, us. No, we are us. the union. Yeah. Right. I like that. Our right. voice is so, the last one's heard. He heard. Have, has the union spoken with, with uh, GM about them cutting the health insurance? Have they given oh, yes. any like, reason yes. behind it? Or are they just on some like... Well, have you seen the news? The mayor was... Kind of above our pay grade, but... Yes, right. but... But there is talks. There yeah, is... Like, if you guys can you get those get people here... that's the fact. Well, if if y'all get them here, I will put them on. Like, away if you want to talk about know. international and what's going on in national media with all of that... We'll do a whole separate podcast for that. They know their to the fire. Right. They got to step up for us this time. All right, right. cuz that's just you know, that's too many indictments coming out on that level. Yeah, can I just throw this like out there? Totally off subject. Uh-huh. We we had the mayor. What was his name yesterday Oles, out there? Oles. Okay. So Spring he's standing Hill. out there and he's lecturing all Spring of us. Spring Hill mayor. You know, and, and we just had um our zone, our president, our uh-huh. zone, one of our committee reps and a few of our team members What do you mean zone? Okay, so eight ranks like this. You have we'll start from the bottom <coughs> to the top. So we have alternate committees, which is us. Okay. Then we have a committee rep Okay. Which, when you have a problem, you call committee rep. If the committee rep's not there, you go to alternate. Okay. Okay. And then above the committee, you have zone. And then above that, you have sure. shop chairman. Shop chairman and then president. Okay? Oh, okay. So we had all of them getting arrested yesterday, and we, oh. here we have the the mayor standing here. Come on, y'all, let's get it together. This is not the image you guys want to portray. Getting arrested, blah blah blah. What are your children going to think of you? Now, what? Now listen to this, okay? <laughs> Paco, you know my children. They're very, right. very outspoken. You guys have all met them because yeah. my kids have stand with me every day, <coughs> losing sleep, the two that are homeschooled, being out there with me all night. Yeah. So and I looked at my daughter and I said, what do you mean? Ask my child if I was to get arrested, what, how would she feel? And she said, I would be damn proud of my mom because she's fighting for yeah, something that's right. right. This is like telling our kids, don't back, I mean, take the bully. Let the right. bully beat on you. Right. No, right. stand up to the bully. Exactly. Fight for what you believe in. What's exactly. right is right. Right. You know, and that bothers me. Because how are you going to come at us like that? That's just, it's just wrong. So right. The mayor of Spring Hill. No. I'm saying Murray County. County. Murray County. Murray County. Yeah. Murray County. Because remember, oh. two different gates. We're in two separate entities. You, we only deal with Spring Hill on the north side. Oh, oh so that's so right. They are right. split. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh. So you got Damn. Spring Hill City police officers that will not interfere. So that's where we told you, oh. right? The north side is the north truck side. entrance. Yeah. You're right. They was rerouting those trucks to come into the south entrance. Oh, oh that makes by sense. The, by, by, by by the, the different, different jurisdiction. Different and that's yeah. they talk talking about the that's daycare. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Well, they got the daycare right there, so they get to cause a little more animals. And the daycare's so freaking out, thinking that we're going to cause all kinds of trouble because... They see the police cars there, and the kids are scared. 
Oh. We're all moms and dads. You know what I mean? Some of us are single oh, moms and dads. Oh, there's some dirty. They're coming in a picture on the Yes, back. and it's, it's terrible. Nice that's that's right. Right. Well, well, you know what? We're, we're redrawing a picture right now. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. Well, <laughs> and let me just state this. Whoever deleted this man off of our union page, y'all need to add him back because he's with us. He's been with us since day one. He was in that plan. Do it again. He come on, bro. You know, You're like, come <laughs> on, bro. <laughs> I'm here for you. And you have American food vendings. Yeah. One of the girls from the cafeteria, yeah. she's been standing with us every day. She was at Embers with yep. us every wow. day. That's what I'm talking about. This right. battle started way before the strike. General Motors has been picking this fight for a long time. I got I was, 26 that was my years in. Question. This is my third plant, and I've never seen a management team this evidence serve until I got here. All right, now can we get down for us, uh, man. Hold on, one, one second. Can we please get a push? To get Body's cafeteria back open. Can we do that, y'all? Yeah, both cafeterias. Yeah. Oh, what? There's another one closed now? Listen, we have Body Shop Cafeteria that has not been opened forever. Yes. How hard is it to clean the son of a bitch up? Excuse my language. Yo, uh, no, no, you're good here. We're on we talk shift. about anything on We're here. For y'all that's turning in the first time, we and talk about everything awful. on here. We're is awful. being really nice machines. right now. Don't <laughs> Nasty chocolate and steel potato talk. chips. Exactly. Yeah, it's a real exactly. cafeteria. My mom said she'd go in there and cook, and you know her Moms can bomb. cook. Moms can cook. Yeah. So, yeah, when I worked there, uh, we used to always have to get on a, um, what are the little trucks called? I don't forget what they're called now. Little maintenance trucks. Yeah, little, yeah just to get over there to yeah. get food. Yeah, the little carts. Yeah, we'd have to go all the way to powertrain if we wanted something, you know what I mean? Wanted a good meal. Well, GA Cafeteria too. is working now, and let me just tell you, if I'll call her up and I'll be online, you know, standing in this committee. Right. And I'll be like, hey, girl, what you got? Can you can you pull me back some food? Yeah, girl, be in the warmer. Just come get it when you get there. Right. They are with us. Right. You know, awesome. They always have our backs. Awesome. That's love. Yeah. You don't yeah. want to blow up the spot too much. She has yeah. been there since day one. Yeah. What, were you, what were you getting ready to say, Brandon? I cut you off. I apologize. No, you good. I want the uh, the history of when, when you said this uh, has been brewing before the strike. That's actually what I was... Uh, Sort of like wondering because if since 2019 is supposed to be the, the snapback, uh, in 2015. The, 2015, 2015, sorry, and the, I didn't get it, but you know, obviously the plant kept on running, everything like that. So, how how much of how much traction has it like has GM been like really like at what point did you guys at a meeting look at each other like we're gonna have to do it, we're gonna, we might we might really have to do it, and because it was it was talked about a lot, but out of 80 and it's, they didn't have any official meetings. We've known anything. for a year and a half. It's been just the kind of you walk through yeah. the halls and you just feel it. Let me, you know let me, it's coming. Let me, let me tell There's you no this. been real any real let, language let, from anybody. Let me, let me tell it's going to happen. I called uh, Region 2B, which is up in Toledo, Ohio, um, a year and a half ago, trying to get information on my father, who uh, worked for General Motors, started in 1960. And uh, he said, basically, he, he brought this up. He said, let me tell you something. He said, save all your money. Save all your money that you can because he said there's a day coming next year there's going to be a strike. Our mm -hmm. shop chairman here was saying the same thing. They both don't know each other. So there's word. There was word going on. Oh, yeah. It was, it was coming. Okay. The, mm. the thing well, is, there's so know. much chatter in that plant. You have to, like, Read pick and choose, you know. It's worse right. than high school. But there's also, there's always that one bit of chatter that turns out to be accurate you know what i mean yeah. but the, for that one accurate there's a hundred inaccurate chatters right. that's going yeah. on so that's usually how it goes yeah the, but the, the, union, union. the union knew a year year and a half ago that this was this we've been warning time. everybody put money back and say we right. know right. it was coming oh, like like and lord's time i mean that was just picking out. a fight right there yeah. right. and you know they, they tell us to put money aside you know but when you have a lot of kids and you have things that happen like for example i was at a workman's comp and I came back and they, they tried to throw me out because they said my paperwork was fraudulent, which was a lie. Right. I proved my innocence, but you get behind and I had to file bankruptcy. And there's a lot of us in the plant that had to do that. Can't get right. the credit back up. You can't save money. You know, so, oh, something always happens. Right. And it's, it's, it's hard. You, you quit a job to hire in at $15 an hour and you was already making 22 bucks an hour somewhere else. Mm -hmm. But you hired in knowing that the pay scale is going to go up because you're going to get raises. You got progression. And you've got that health insurance. Exactly. That's right. why everybody goes there is for that health insurance. Exactly. Before exactly. anybody gets on your blog here and talks about how <laughs> Nissan's so good, how comes every time anybody's got a chance to leave Nissan and come to us, they do. I did leave Nissan. <laughs> <laughs> I did. But, 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 let me, me tell too. you something. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. Nissan. I did too. <laughs> not to just talk about <laughs> Nissan while we're here. <laughs> Nissan had this machine that you stuck your, your hands in and your feet in and it coated it. 
with this stuff. But it made your hands and feet feel wonderful. That's the only part of Nissan I missed. Yeah, whatever that, that was. Whatever that was. Paraffin. paraffin. Was it paraffin? Yeah. Paraffin. They do it. They do it at the nail salon. Oh yeah. Too. Is it? That's great. Yeah. yeah. Dude, it was. Oh, yeah. And the, just and you. <laughs> How do we get that? Money? I found Look, don't, I found answer that. don't answer that. Don't answer that. They, <laughs> they mandatory you to do that like every two weeks. Yeah. We need that, y'all. We need to put that on. <laughs> no, I want his contract. suggestion. I want a non-staff chiropractor. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, them yoga instructors walk around. Yeah. It's a chiropractor. It's a chiropractor. Yeah. Massage going on. therapist. But back to the adversarialness that management's had. About a year and a half ago, we had a guy on day shift. They were mandatory on Saturdays. Oh, yeah. right. His daughter was in a softball championship. Third shift was not. One of our guys work with Andy told Adam to go ahead, go watch your daughter play softball or we'll watch the championship. I'll come work for you. Right. Management said no. Yep. Now they both do the same job. They're both tool and dime makers. They just did it to be. Right. Well, here's the th- here's just a lot the of things poke. that go inside. Just the, the poke. Just so the poke. It's those little things where you like, yes. okay, I feel it. I feel it in the air. Yes. We they were picking. You got kids that are sick, like my kids, Kayla with her kidney stones. Yeah. Right. I had to leave. And I got reprimanded for it. Yeah. My family comes first. That's know? on a point system, They have right? no heart. Yeah. No, no, we don't have a point system. Okay. We have it's a, similar. It, dock- it's docked. It's a point Different system, right. same thing. Right, right. And here's I'll, why they, they get away with doing a lot of that crap. That's okay. my question. Talking about, we, we all come from areas where the union's there. We've been raised, we've all been raised that we're all third, fourth, fifth generation. Yep. Okay. We know, the, we know the rules. We know how to do it. We know how to play the games that they want to play. We come down here. They got over 50% temps in there. Yep. Never been in a General Motors plant or a union shop. They don't know. No, this. nothing about solidarity. <laughs> nothing so like that. Management Gosh. comes and says, you're going to do this. And That's they do not it. their job, but they go do it. Well, then they mess something up. Mm-hmm. Then they get fired. Yep. Right. Yep. Who stands up for them? There's nobody, nobody. to stand up because they nobody. wasn't supposed to do that. Let me let me tell, let me let me wow. just put this as as a uh, seasoned temp, <laughs> a <laughs> habitual <laughs> temp, <laughs> <A> habitual <laughs> temp. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've been at Atco, TFT, MS, uh, Rider, and Precision, where they drive the uh, where they drive the, the cars out the back. Yeah, yeah. So I've been all through. That. I've been from powertrain to body to GA one two uh, LLC one two all of that. Right. Like I've been all all through that joint. The only time I ever heard anything anything about a union or you might be protected or you know like if somebody comes up and just tells you something just you know. At, get a supervisor first right. was when I got with Ryder yeah. and uh, I was only there for three months because I knew my background check you know they'd they do it again <laughs> I wouldn't, there's I wouldn't, a reason we're doing yeah, podcasts I wouldn't miss $15 an hour like, <laughs> even if it's just for 90 days I, I'm getting all of that like, yeah. they, they did that background check like you got passed like ah, <laughs> <laughs> ah you got me yeah, but <laughs> that's the only time I ever heard about actual like union or anything but like you said when it comes to any other temp is like, all right, if GM comes up and tells you something, just go ahead and do it. But you might not know what you're doing, right. and then you end up getting fired. Right. Oh, yeah. I've seen that happen to so yeah. many people, bro. In the temps, they don't get nothing. $15 no, an hour. they do not. Yeah. No, paid, no paid days off, no vacations, nothing. No nothing. Now, they consider nothing. Well, they do get health care, yes. but not like what we get. No. Oh, hell no. Now, no. is this part of what has stemmed this also? Because I heard, I heard, I'm throwing rumors out there. That part of it was that they had temps that had been sitting for what three, three years? years, three, right. five, five, years. five years. There's a few yeah. places, six, seven, eight years. People been temps. That's oh, unacceptable. Uh, we, we got people that were temps all the way back from 07 that didn't get hired until 2012, 2014. Then they stopped, and that's just all temps. Right. Oh, okay. Huh. Yeah. You know. So, what? What will happen if you guys got what you wanted? What would happen with those temps then? They'd be become permanent. Would, be would that be an instant yeah. thing? Say, say that one more time for the people in the back. Temporaries will be permanent. Right, right. Ooh, you see that? that. Here's the other thing <laughs> that we're fighting for. Right now we have three different yeah. tiers of pay in there. The temps get one pay. Yeah. I get another pay. These two guys have another. Yep. So how does how how how, how, did, how did that end up like becoming? All right, I get the temps might get another, but how do y'all... We're legacy. We're legacy. We're already at top rate. They're going to have to make them do eight years before they catch when, up. When all this new contract stuff happened <coughs> in 07, oh. they threw in Tier 2 workers. Okay, so Tier 2 workers, no pension, 
Mm. They don't top. We don't top out at what they top out at. We're like no pinch. Three bucks less an hour or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm and crazy. They, I'm right. You gotta add this too. Oh, yeah. So you have right. all these that come in. Yeah, and I don't know. They gotta set. Down, <coughs> they get raised. You know, every year. <coughs> we don't. Right. So we have to work that 55 weeks or whatever is a whole year. So let's say we have a layoff of two weeks. It well, just prolongs. Our raise goes yeah. two weeks. Right. Then if somebody's out on work with comp, there's another two weeks. The guy started. Um, yeah, workman's comp counts towards your raises. Well, well the, January 25th, I started. I was out because I hurt myself. I didn't get my raise till July. Oh, wow. It's <coughs> ridiculous. Wow. So That's not okay. No. No. I, so, Sorry, you want to go? No, Jasmine, did I, you have anything? No, You've been no. so quiet back here. No. She no. talks. No, Let's hear it. Listen, I didn't know all this was happening. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm with, you know, I hear Union, and I, I've heard of it. And excuse me, early I said UAW Hall. I <laughs> she got through the UAW I, Hall people. We I'm were dying laughing. All this information, because I've never, for one, I've never did factory work, but my mom did it. My mom did it forever, and she would talk about it every now and then. And she found she was at GM um, for a long time. She was actually she went to actually did the factory work, and then she was the cook back there. So y'all might know her, Angela Armstrong. So honestly, I don't know much about the factory work. So I'm learning all of this, and then the fact that you had said earlier um, the things that was that have been impl implemented, such as insurance and vacations and Pay time off. Those to know that those things were not even there at first, but because y'all made sure it was something that has to be done. Now it's done, right. and for them to want to cut y'all and pay to get y'all insurance cut off, that's devil's work. Excuse me, sorry, yep. but yes, like that's right. not even. It's almost like you know, y'all can work you little minions and work your bodies till there's nothing left. They would love to outsource and, everything. And yeah, and, and make their, and their money. Their name on it. Mm. They're not really ever thinking about the people who are supplying their the, the company. Their needs, their, their company's needs. Their company's yeah. needs. GM doesn't respect the no. yeah. they, they lost are the they concept, take, take care of your workers, your workers yeah. will take care of you. They want to take bonuses. So insurance. I'm sorry if I'm so quiet. I'm just like I'm taking all this in, in like wow, and I'm so glad your daughter was standing there by you with that yeah, sign. Like I said, <laughs> sounds like I got them all on video. I had, I had my fifteen year old okay, she was doing the live as I was walking out. I love her. And she was in the room. You're like, Mama, we don't want to get out the road. I'm like, baby, listen, there's a truck coming, please get out the road. We won't fight with you. Just get out the road. We will in just a minute. We've got a lot of friends and family. You told your daughter, stand behind me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and he was there when the trucker was arguing with us. And you know my kids, they're, yeah. they're out there, you know, they're just me and my brother. They're going to fight for what they believe in. Right. We came from nothing, literally. We lived in the ghetto. And so we know what it was like to fight. We need to teach our kids like that. My brother getting his shop, that was like the biggest thing that ever happened to us. I mean, I was so proud. So when I got in here and I was working and I made committee rep, that was the proudest day of my life. My grandfather, and my mom's like, what are you doing? Why are you there every day? Would my grandfather be sitting at home? No, he'd be walking around with his people, checking on him and being there, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Yeah. I've been picking in since Sunday, and we only have to put in four hours to get yeah. our benefits. Yeah. And my four that's hours it. aren't till Saturday, and, he's and been I've with been me there over day. 18 hours a day for the past three days. I've been out, I've been out there at least 10 to 16 hours a day. I was up 26 eight. hours. I'm yesterday. running around getting shirts, printing shirts, selling shirts, standing in front of trucks, preventing people from getting in and out of that plant, getting ran over by people, you know. Look at where his red is our shirts, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to get up your no, truck. I'm a night you shifter. I'm car? there every day. Yeah. I'm a night shifter. Yes, okay. How's that for you? He pulls up and he'll pull that thing so everybody can see. I put it right there in management's face. They, right. If they're going to send security out there, they're going to stare at a UAW like insignia wheel all right. day long. Yeah, and he's been at the hall third shift every night. But me and him have been back and forth with the pickets. I'll go around. Y'all need anything? Every picket, I just make my rounds. I've been bringing lights and glow sticks and, you know. Well, let me, and I don't even have the money, but I've been doing it. What would say? you need? Like, if you could, right now, we've, you know, we've got over 100 people listening. And a lot of these people are in our community. What? Could you tell the community to do to maybe help support you guys? Because financially, y'all, hold on, just a second. Financially, these people support a lot of businesses and a lot. I was here when the plant shut down. What was that shut down? What year was that? 2006. Yeah. 
2009. Okay. Born in the nine. I remember that. Right. So I remember the effect on the community, and it took a while to bounce back. A lot of healthcare companies came here. They said, but when when both of these factors are going on, and both of these, our economy booms. It really helps a lot of local businesses. So what can the community do? What message can you tell them to help them? Support you guys. Just show support. Show yeah, support, support because for every one of us loses a job, seven to ten people in the community is going to lose a job. But seven Say to that ten again. I love his for facts. Every man. auto worker out there, seven to ten people in the community depend on us having our job. Right. Y'all need water. This, all those guys are gone. I don't know. This guy's laid off because of, we're on strike. Right. Yeah. How many? Yeah. How many? Yes. Um, uh, the church. How many? The church is losing money. Hit the donation button on the Who That page. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes. He's laid off. I went into healthcare. Hey, I so. was thinking about setting up a GoFundMe account because, you know, we supply Maury County. But you got to remember, we got Marshall County, Maury County, yes. we got Pulaski, we got Lincoln County, we got people from Alabama. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it's, all, it's not just Maury County, it's everywhere. A good amount of right. people driving you know? from Alabama. So, how many, how many <laughs> factories do you think? That are GM related, but not GM, uh, are on that are hold. Affected by yeah, it's just oh, on hold. Magna, right? Magna? Uh, Felicia, uh, just Felicia. Hold on, one at a time, yeah, guys. One at a time. We got Magna, uh, Ferrasia, Ferrasia, uh, Adient, LCI, LCI, um, um, CLI, CLI, CLI. Yeah, CLI. CLI. Uh, Rider. that's Rider. So that's four uh, different ones. Yeah. Yeah. Another one starts with the well, yeah, but those are third party. I think uh, you know, different yeah, factories. Not totally. Lita. It's a. Uh, 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 what's the one that starts with the L, dude? Um, ah, uh, they make the doors. Crap. Really I can't remember the name either. I don't know. I don't there's know about several. The yeah, there's several. <laughs> but there's probably and, they, two, and, and these that people, one, that, what, that's at least six. They what message? About five thousand workers. Right. So, so what message do you want to convey to these people who are who are now on hold, laid off, waiting on me? Yeah. What message, what message do you, what message want, to do you to want to convey to them? Because I see a lot of negativity, yes. but I mean, give them hope. This is it. Pray we succeed. Oh, because oh, sorry, brothers, because we're all there. For when support. we succeed, you yeah, succeed. Support our yeah. 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 The history's and, there. And Every time we gain, well, they gain. A lot of those subsidiary companies like yours are a member of our union. Yep. Mm. You know, if we do well, you do well. I mean, right. we're all yeah. one union. And that's that's what people need to understand and, and really need to know, like because you know, if it. Sorry. Oh, no, no. Go ahead. If, you if, go ahead. If it wasn't for that plant in Spring Hill, Columbia and Spring Hill wouldn't be what it is today. No. Yeah. Hey, listen. Correct. We provided the yeah. Spring Hill Police the Department no. their vests no, not, last no, year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Didn't we? School supplies. I mean, we're not we, just one we, person. We, we do car everyone. shows for the Spring Hill Band. I mean, right, we're right. here we for everyone. We're doing yeah, this for everybody. Yeah. Boys yeah. and right. Girls Club. Yeah. 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 How much money do we donate? To the community. United Way gets ten bucks a week from me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we donate uh, we community in the, the community down. heavily. Yeah. We yeah. volunteer in the communities heavily. I was just about but to say that. Every time we get raises raise our standard of living, hey. it helps pull everybody else up. Mm -hmm. Organized labor's been doing that for sixty years. Eighteen fifty three donated the Pull-approved vest for Spring Hill Police Department. And some uh, of them didn't know that this morning when I was talking to them. And right. like I said, Spring Hill is not interfering. Right. Yeah. We we need one, two, we need three bulletproof vests also. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll be, Yo. Yes, First we're going to need that. I came here for video. Hit <laughs> 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 me here. Your name yeah. is Didn't nobody tell me I was going to be on camera tonight. So, no vests. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I would love a vest. Hey, man, I live like right down the street from you. This ain't that rough. <laughs> uh, I, we are the roughest people on the neighborhood right here. Who that is the roughest right. thing in this neighborhood. Yeah, so. right. You know, and... I wear vests just randomly. Yeah, <laughs> just in Walmart, <laughs> just on the porch smoking a cigarette. Yeah. Right? <laughs> hey, you can go buy him a just Superman case. case. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, I will say this too. A go lot ahead, of people had issues with the, the sheriff's department, Maury County Sheriff's Department. There's some of them out there that are union, and it's not that they don't want to work with us. It's they got that upper that they got to answer to. Right. And this morning, I'm telling you right now, I had some amazing deputies out there this morning. They gave me cones. To work, they put the cones in there. They let us hold up the traffic as long as we needed to. Right. I was ready to let a truck go, and he was like, "Nah, we'll let him sit here for a few more minutes." Mm -hmm. You know, oh, it's okay. and, and you know, my brother does a lot for the community as well. Right. And he 
remember that big thing with the whole the police department that right, went down? Right, right. And he stood behind every police officer in this county. All I'm asking is stand behind us. So right. in the terms of like supplies though, is there anything like people can bring like like a, say glow sticks? Man, the public's uh, been great. The yeah. public they, they have, great. they really have. Water, Gatorades. We probably got water uh, for months. The, the gas stations okay, and stuff are bringing us their pizzas that they're making. Oh. Um, people's up? bringing, I mean, Olive Garden brought yeah, yeah, Olive Garden brought food. Oh, this is awesome. Right. Shout out to Olive Garden and BB Dub. showing support and helping feed us because they know that we're out there and not necessarily able to make the money. To yeah. Pet stores we got giving children free to feed. The They're going to feed us. Right. Get free beautiful. haircuts. Do y'all know second? where the yeah, hidden water supply and, and body is? It's, no. a, it's way up there. See, look, we can learn. <laughs> <laughs> that used to be, look, that used to be a squatting spot. We would go no, sit on the cases of water and chill sometimes because it was it was way up there. It was like, oh man, it was in the rafters, and it's it's by like a, a air unit or something. But there's no lights. Yeah, right. They hold. That's where they store some of the. That's floors. where they store the water, man. Yeah. And like we would go, I would go to just squat. Yeah, I don't work there no more, so yeah, I used to squat anyway. But uh, we go to squat. So there's times I, oh, right. So I opened the door and the team leads squatted. And I was like, bruh. And I said, wait a minute, is that water? And he's like, oh, yeah, this is where we had all the water. <laughs> this is where we had all the water. Don't yeah. tell anybody, please. So, yeah. so back to the community, man. They've been great. Okay, sorry. They, they go. We got a location right in front of the Target there. They, they run in there. They grab stuff. They That's come out up. and drop it off. So, they, so right. there's a location right in front of the Target, too. Yeah, the right. cross. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. That's what's up. Yeah, we got are supporting, man. Like, so. Five or six pickets. Realistically, like for people like me once again. What are we looking at in terms of like length of strike? And I know we touched on it. Nobody knows how. Explain, explain to them how our agreement works. So most of the time when we have a tentative, we'll go back on good faith. You know. You- this time we're not. This time if we get a tentative agreement, they come out Monday tomorrow morning and say, hey, we've got a tentative agreement. Usually we'd go back to work while they rolled it out to us and we vote on. on it and all that. Right. This time we are not. Okay. We will not go back until, until the agreement's us. ratified. So mm. it'll be a week or two after they get a tentative. Right. Because they'll have to bring it out, roll it out to all the membership, everybody votes on it. Then once the membership says yay or nay, then and, we'll go and back. why are we doing it that way now? What's that? Why are we doing it, not not coming one back reason. until a tentative is passed? Why? Because one reason. He, he knows, so I'm just. <laughs> 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 I know, but I'm not going to say it as well. Because they don't want to put them out there, get them back in, we vote it down. And then we're all in this process all over. Right, again. Start we're going to stand out there until we we're demand st- that they give the American work a fair and share. Right. And you know, let me just say this again about the text, okay? I just want to, when I was campaigning, okay, there was a temporary that said, "How do you feel about temporaries?" You know, and and this and this goes for all of us. And I looked at him. I said, "Do you sweat?" And he said, "Yeah." And I said, "Well, I do too. Do you work hard?" Yeah. Well, do so do I. For me, we sweat the same. We work the same. Right. You're just equal as me. But this is the difference. Temporaries get three days a year. Mm-hmm. Okay? Oh. And they have to be approved. Yeah, yeah I was about to say maybe. Now, maybe. temporaries don't benefit from our profit sharing. Right. And it's awful. Tennessee state laws, the temporary is only supposed to work 1,250 hours. After that, they have to be laid off. That's and like your little brother's got an ice cream cone when he was a kid and you don't get one. Right, right, right. And, <laughs> and, yeah, that and then, wouldn't have flew. And the worst part about it is when a temporary, <laughs> let's say you've been at my plant for a year. And they finally hire you in. Well, your hire date is the day that you hire in. Right. Right. And they take away all all that time. Right. So if if we're right at the brink of of 1,850 hours to make that profit, that profit share check, and you hire in in December, guess what? You ain't getting one. Uh, And for people that don't understand the importance of that, it goes beyond just profit sharing and things like that. It go if you see a job you want. You're, and you've got the low, you're the low man on the totem pole you for seniority. Get, you don't get that. Don't you get, and you can be, let's say you need first they shift. Need let's say you get hired on first shift and they get, they got it. Since you're the low man on the totem pole, they can bump you to third shift because somebody with more seniority. And just like the vacation. Temporary is technically can't do really. Right. Well, I'm not, I'm not talking about, I'm talking about once they get hired on and they lose all that yep. three years. Hey, and that, that bumping might go three, four times within a month. Yes. Because right? someone else said, Oh, yeah. hey, there's a low man on second. Now I want to go to seconds because I'm the next highest. And boom. Yeah, yeah, you, jump yeah. Around. And, you know, and just like that, same way. <laughs> 
let's say he puts in a vacation day and I put in a vacation day and they, we only have 5% that can take off or 7%, he's got high seniority, so I don't get the vacation day he does. Right, right. Bumped. Now, yeah. Bumped. I do want to touch on what you what you were telling me uh, a little bit ago about the, the 2% they're trying to get. They, yes. they were, they'd, only, they'd only touched um, 2% of Monday, as of Monday. They only touched base on two percent of what we were demanding. Yes, That's and we the union. two percent of our resolutions. So ninety-eight percent of them is still there, right. sitting there. Now we did get a letter today from our local president saying that they have made more prog- progress and they're going to continue to work in through the weekend, but that's. That's still, but two percent is like more progress. Like, all right, if fine. We, have <laughs> and and we can tell you like some of the resolutions. I don't know. We demand some of the demands. Program. We might yeah. have. Yeah, yeah like, that's like that's program. Higher the tax. Well, that's what I mean. Um, like, so like a, a, you know, a thousand or right. better. Can we get like a full like rundown of what actually like you know what I'm saying? There's, what, there's what, like what, five thousand. Yeah, you, right, there's right. not going. There's right. no way. Oh, to well, I mean, like, yeah, yeah. The big one. Yeah, give us some points. Let people know it's just it's not all about. You guys wanting more money? No. no. Yeah. We want, no. we want things like per diem managers. When, uh, what a per diem manager is is when they go from the union and they go to management. When you jump ship from the union, you should not be allowed back in our union. Right. Hmm. Okay. But so so what they they feel like they they shouldn't have to honor that. Well, that's they not cross a, over and come that's, back. I mean, that's been going on a long time. Yeah. Yeah, but now it seems like down here they don't hold that like back home they have a like a time limit on there it was like it's still there it's still a national you know, and like okay, with but, I don't, but i see example. some that aren't no they're jumping out and then going back yeah okay all right what did you say you get per diems and let's say you know somebody hired him with me and he became management they're in the state they work in the same area they started and that shouldn't they, we're trying to take that away where yeah, are we? Yeah. You shouldn't be able to work in the same department because you're working with your peers, and right. then now you're treating them like shit, and it's, it's horrible. And that is right. an issue, but that's a minimal issue. We're not on the strike right. over yeah, that. Yeah, that's, 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 that's top ten bullet points. I know we're, five. Yeah, and we're on strike. Well, you go ahead. My throat's getting sore. Hire the temps. Yeah. Yeah. The temps. All right. Insurance. Full pay everybody, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, not no tier one, tier, tier two, tier two, two tier, tier three. Mm-hmm. We're talking everybody make the same wage. Or right. have the potential to be able to make you know, sense. Everybody had the same insurance. Right. We want our insurance back the way it used to be. And we want we want, we want paid insurance, mm-hmm. two dollar in uh, prescriptions. Right. You know. We want, we want cola back. Cola back. Pensions back. Pension. Everybody have a pension, not just the top guys. Right. Everybody, you hired on your full pay, you get a pension after thirty years. Yep. Okay. So yeah, there's not, the there's the top ones that that I'm yeah. fighting for. So again, does that mean does that look like it's just us? Or no, we're no, fighting for No, very first thing everyone. he said was to hide the temp. Right. I mean, there's right. a lot of them. That, that is the most know, important issue. It is. Yeah. It is unacceptable for a brother or sister to work beside me hand in hand for four or five years mm-hmm. and still not have a permanent job. Yeah, that, that was part of the reason I left Nissan. Because I was I was hired in at Nissan. I think I was only making, at the time, it's like $12 an hour. And they said I'd have to put like three or four years in as a temp. Working side by side with you know somebody that's making thirty dollars an hour, right. you know it was frustrating. It no, right. hey, well I mean just saying though that's that's part of the reason I I left Nissan. Up so. until oh seven, you hired in at fifteen eleven an hour, and it took three years to progress to the top pay. Yep. So okay. every six months you was getting a raise, yes. and it just seemed like man I hit the lottery, I hit the lottery, I hit the lottery. All right, I'm topped out, Dang, but man I'm still making a lot of, a lot of money. You know right. I can support my family, I can buy mm-hmm. a new car. We can go on a vacation every now and then. Yeah. Now, it ain't that way. Yeah, imagine yeah. once eight year progression because they say it takes eight years to be proficient to do the job. I'm getting you $2, know what they train every year. Call people that train for eight years to do a job. What? Doctors and lawyers. Right. Yeah, it don't take true. eight years to put a fender on a car. Right. 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 You said eight years to do a job. Like, that's college. Yeah. That's college. Yeah. That's, college. Yeah. that's, that's college. a doctor don't and a lawyer. Quite a yeah. Yeah. Job yeah. Either. I mean, it, it, I'm not saying they're easy, be, but it don't take eight yeah, years to get proficient. It don't take eight years, and not just that. In eight years, how many model changes did we have? Right. Right. Thank you. Always training. Thank you. We didn't go to school for eight years, four years to become a doctor. Okay. I got a friend right now on my on my uh, Facebook dog and a saying that we're not trained labor, that, or we're not trained professions like a doctor or a nurse or whatever. We're not skilled labor. That's what it was he said. Okay. 
But we are. We're yeah. constantly changing models. We have to debug. Constantly. They change a the model. They they put a fender on there. We have to see how it fits. We have to debug how it fits yeah. so they can send it back and make the, the alterations. Every year, these new models. cars, the engineers say it works on paper. Don't that, that, necessarily. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you really so work in a factory, you know that the engineers are brainwashed with that. Right. Yeah. That people have different value based on their standing exactly. in life. I know better than that person that cleans the bathroom. Right. right. They're no better than me. Right. 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 We're all right. the same. We yeah. just got different jobs to do. Right. Nobody's any better or the, worse than the other. The public, not all the public. But most of the public thinks we're just lazy. We stand in there, we push buttons, running robots. It's not true. No, that's there's not, no, no, that's robots not true. We're, we're the robots. robots. I will, I will it's tell very you. Hands on. Yeah. I will tell you guys. Every time I get a job, my little secret hope is I get a job where I only push a button. Right. Like, <laughs> I challenge anybody yeah. to get on YouTube and, and YouTube General Motors. They don't even have a job where you push a like, button. You I what so badly like, wanted to like, be there, yeah, just like. So, for example, on my line, how many, how many line, times have we lost that actually just quit because they can't do it, right. or they don't want to? They right. say, "No, yeah. I'm not doing this." Right? Yeah, right. man. You know, I mean, like it's they make it sound like it's, no, but it's no, really no, not. Like, no. you know, it's a skill set that you have to, you know, and mm -hmm. you have to almost be ambidextrous to some degree because yeah. Yeah. think about it, you're starting this screw here, right. this screw and here, then, and then you're shooting. And you're trying to you reach carpal time. tunnel and, and everything. Even if you can do it, even if you can go in there and do it, right? Mm -hmm. Now, okay, you just went in there, you learned a job, you can do it. All right, now do that in a minute, sixty right. times in an hour. Right. It's not for 12 I can't hours. Do it. It's, you for have seven to want to do it. 300 yeah. times a shift. That yes. was like when I uh, I worked for Delphi, where they used to build, I think, the brakes for you guys. And one of my jobs was I lifted up um, like rotors. And they were like, you know, they're about. Say what? I'm trying to see what the comments say. Oh, Keep uh, talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I used to have to lift up these rotors and put these hubs in them and stuff. But to make production, it was like 2,500 parts. So the rotors were about, they're about 30 pounds. So that's 2,500 reps right. of 30 pounds right. every day. Right, yes. and look at paint job, okay? We got a minute to do this car, and we have to put front pieces on the hood. And I'm lifting two and a half hours, hood after hood after hood, putting plugs in the car. And now the, the new cars, we, we seal three different cars. <coughs> I got a tail light that I got to take a gun, shoot it, Take a tool, skive it, make uh -huh. sure there's no holes. Within Pray a that screw doesn't cross the red. Right. Oh, isn't that the nightmare, y'all? And, and just oh, you gotta get stop across that line. You know? And if you're a temp and you keep stopping that line, you're gone. Oh, you're yeah. Gone. yeah. But I think you get like two. And like two, like the you first. Get three. You, get, is it three? You, get, you get three yep. defects. Uh, before they before management comes and bugs you. Yeah. yeah. Well, that might be in GA, but paint's a little bit different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. But you know. And it's, it's repetitive, like you said. And right. then, then we got to lift the tailgates. I mean, right. it's, it's not easy. It's yeah. not, and then to be doing all that work, and, you do, and you're do doing a 12-hour shift, and you're doing it for seven days a week, and you do that for the two, three weeks at a time, and you finally get two days off, and then... They come and they want to take your fucking bonuses and your insurance and shit. Oh wait, I, I see why we're I see why we're at this point. All right. <laughs> yeah, in third shift, for example, let's bring that. Can I bring oh. that, up, please? Yeah. So we started doing Sunday to Thursday, okay? Mm-hmm. And the we the rest of the and Paint's always had some fucked up right. hours, right? And yeah, work schedule. Paint and body. When we were doing Sunday to Thursday, we would come in an hour early. Right. Um, we'd come in at nine. So all of a sudden, they decide, well, hey, we're doing away with that. Yeah. We're gonna make it Monday through Friday. Right. And first shift, first shift supposed to be lead nowhere. shift out of nowhere, you know, and we third shift are still picking up all the slack. Right, out of no. nowhere. Maybe it's no. be there twelve hours into twelve Saturday hours morning, into Saturday morning, Saturday morning. so we don't get yep. the right. really two days off. Yep. We right. get out at ten thirty on a Saturday morning. So your kids have Saturday and Sunday off. So hey, we go to work Sunday night. That's our Monday. Mm -hmm. I'm not on third shift. I've done third shifts. Yeah, right. I know they're tough. So your kids are off on the weekend. Well. All right, so you're up all day, set. So you wake up Saturday morning because you didn't go to bed because you just, just got out of work. Your kids are up. It's Saturday. Yeah. You want to spend some time with your family because you've been you're working sleep. seven days a week. I got. All right, so now I've spent the day with my kids. We went to the beach. We get home five o'clock. Get everything packed away, right? Put mm -hmm. it away. It's time to go to bed. Oh wait a minute, I got to go to work in an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 To where so if you yeah. start on Sunday. 
You, you, you already, Friday. Yep. So you're already in there. You're rolling over. You got your whole day to catch up on your on your sleep. Right. I'm, I'm a third right. shift. You got your Friday to catch up. I mean, I love third shift. I love it because I'm always with my kids. But when they switched it up, man. When they switched it up, it got bad. And and. Once again, with that picking type of stuff, you, if you, especially if you know you're dealing with third shift workers, you don't, you can't switch a sleep schedule up like no, that. You no, can't right, just no, do that to people. No. No. And if I if I remember correctly, it wasn't a heads up. It was a next week this starts. Correct. Right. <laughs> like, we did it for the launch of third shift. Remember, yeah. and there was a time frame. We're yeah. going to do this for the startup. Yeah. And then they up and switch it back and said it was for launch purposes because you know this way day turn will be the you know and. Now here we are. We're still doing it. I've talked to buddies in Flint. I've talked to buddies in Fort Wayne. Nobody else is doing that. Has this jacked up schedule. Everybody else's midnights so is it's a normal midnight. So they tell us everybody else. They're claiming annual exemption. Okay. They're claiming well, that's, annual that's, exemption. But we can do it because it's a launch. Because we're in launch and we have not hit line rate. So for for the the people listening, mostly like local. When you uh, mentioned earlier that down here that the management you you never seen it as as no. like thrown off. What's the difference between uh, uh, um, Ohio or, or Michigan or what? What's the difference here that they got this? Where got the lines us? were. Okay, because so here they're, they're just fucking. Oh yeah, they're just so the back home, home the lines wow. were drawn in the sand years ago, and they knew you go to this is the point. Right. And they they respected that we we had a mutual respect. Right. Here's the line. I won't cross it on my side. You don't cross on here. Down here, they just keep pushing and pushing and yep. pushing, and as far as they can go with it, and yeah. nobody pushes back. Well, here's yeah. the thing with that yeah. is they've pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed so much. Right. We call and put in committee calls. We're writing grievances left and right. There's so many management in there and so many new people and stuff that there's so many grievances written that our they can't community men them. can't keep up with it to push the lines back where they're supposed to be. Right. So it's it's like an avalanche right now. It you is. Know, you yeah, got a shovel. Is. Right. And you're like, oh, no, no, it'll, it'll work. It'll work. It'll right. be yeah. okay. Just thinking about with a bucket. You've got God, some really. management in there that don't respect the fact that it's a union shop. I had a manager one time come walking through my job, shaking his head, saying, I wish this wasn't a union shop. Wow. Wow. Wait, can you even do that shit? Like, can you like? Well, just, me, they can say it, but it ain't yeah, gonna happen, right? right. right. So in, in 2015, uh, my when response they did was, this, well, if you don't like it, go back to Nissan. Yeah, right. I, don't I don't want to say what my response was. Okay. I'm gonna tell you why they do what they do. 2015, when they did this contract, there's what's called paragraph eight. Basically, tells us that the company can run however they see fit. Well, and that wasn't 2015. Yeah, they've always well, the, had that. That's been in there since but, the first agreement. But I'm saying, like, when we all came back. You know what I mean? Well, They're overreacting in that paragraph, and that's, it's ridiculous. That's they, they use that clause. That's, that every time They're something happens, just, well, management paragraph has the right to right. manage. They use that clause all the time. And they do within the guidelines of the agreement that we even negotiated. Yeah. Right. They forget that part. Right. 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 So, so I know it's a nationwide uh, strike, but it sounds like here it's a little bit different. They're really pushing. We well, don't know where the lines are. There's no right. line. Well, they're pushing so, everywhere, but here a little more with, than the with rest. With the strike, yeah. it's pretty much the same everywhere. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, that's what I was. The internals of the way the business is ran, it's different here than it is everywhere yeah. else. Wow. We don't have the same support down here as everywhere else. We're, We're closer yeah. to international and the big honchos that can push harder than For what example, we have here. Okay. Flint. Wow. Police department so is delivering right. pizzas to their people. Oh wow! Shit. But you got to remember, a lot of the police departments up north are UAW. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's, another, that's another thing. I mean, I was talking to a police officer last night that he can't get the insurance through, through them because he's a veteran and he's got veteran insurance. Wow. And it's it's sad because they should be union. Right. Every one of them should be union. Right. Now, because lack of information once again. Uh, as you said, they should be union, but they're not. Right, and a lot of people think they are. And so, how do you change that? Does this strike with that uh, bit? No, that's you, not going to have any. But I'm saying, do you to. think it would like it would corral them and be like, you know what, we should be union too? I yeah. hope so. I hope yeah. so. Yeah. It's, that's, it's hard in the them. south, and yeah. we right. would show them support. If you know, if there was the sheriff's department, Spring Hill Police, if they decided that they wanted to unionize, yeah, that would be our job as a union. As a union brotherhood, even though we're not the same, we may not be the same union to support <coughs> them, just like the Teamsters are doing for us right now. Right. Okay. See, so that's something that, like, what? The Teamsters, the rail car people. Steel workers. Steel, steel workers. workers. Yeah. 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 International. Didn't Kroger Machinists. have a food union? Yeah. Kroger has Kroger's yes. union, yes. Yeah. Kroger has food union. And they're supporting us. Yep. They're supporting us. Yeah. Oh, nice. Shout out to Kroger. I worked for y'all, too. <laughs> <laughs> One of the biggest problems yeah. that's going on, like, nationwide 
and why the media paints it so negative is because you haven't seen a strike like this in a very long time. No, right. right. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of people down here don't know how to take it. Some are getting more excited and worked up like it's like it's the Wild West. And some people are like, you know, they're freaking out. And it, it's just a range of emotions. It is. For people that have never experienced now I'm from Detroit. Y'all know every time you visit Detroit, you can see somebody picking it about something. something. They'd be outside the 7-Eleven picking it in the green, back, orange, high C. Yes, yes, green, back, orange, high C. For any of your listeners in the community that wants to know, they can always stop by the Union Hall. They can always stop right. by right. any of the games. Talk to us. We'll be glad to tell them what we're standing for and why we're there. We're right. normal people just like y'all. Yeah, right. And we're in your community. This is this is your home down here. Right, right. Let me tell let me tell tell y'all something that for those of y'all that are listening. I was raised here in Columbia, Tennessee. I'm originally from Columbus, Ohio. My parents hired in in the seventies. If it wasn't for that Spring Hill plant, my mom wouldn't have been able to raise four kids on her own as a single parent. Mm. Right. Mm. If right. it wasn't for that union job. Right. And, and they need to understand that the the importance of being able to do that, like mm-hmm. like what you say about the standard of living, like right. a lot of us came up in situations where we might have a, a single parent household. I did too, you know what mm-hmm. I mean. And that that job being protected the right way was able to afford you. It's enough. It's enough stress. I'm sure you saw your mom stress out. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean. So like they need to understand. Even if you don't, and I'm glad y'all say they can come by and, or they can stop and anytime. Get the, and, you know, it's, it's open 24 hours right now. You don't know. <laughs> even if you're not educated right. You should at least be able to empathize yep. with what with what is going on and how people are being affected. Well, and if oops. if your empathy is up and then, and the information is low, then stop by and they, and they can they can figure that out. But they should at least be able to understand that these are real jobs, real lives that are that are. For, y'all just ain't striking because you're bored. No, <laughs> like, no. Uh, never been born residents down here. How big has Spring Hill gotten since they opened that? Oh, uh, dude. But here, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. A lot of dude. locals didn't want it to grow. They wanted to stay in the dark. They wanted. They didn't want it. I mean, they're enjoying it now. They're, 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 they're now that they, they're enjoying it. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. I was just about yeah. to say now that their lands is worth. Really nice. Yeah, man. So, real quick, guys. Um, uh, Mike Stevens said, actually, the sheriff's department here in Warren, Michigan, showed us their union card after delivering us food, helping block people trying to cross the line. So, well, they are union. That's, that's awesome. Right. Because they're union. Unionize the sheriff's department here. All right. That's a tough. That'd be a tough one. Uh, that'd be a battle. That'd be a month worth of podcasting just constantly. Speaking of, <laughs> we one day we are going to come out there on the picket line with you guys. But for what I wanted to achieve today, I wanted you guys to come in here and be actually be able to converse and, and talk about it. But I want to. We want to come. Me and me and Brandon are come out. I don't know, Jasmine, you gonna come I'm out coming. there? T-talks. You gonna come? T talks coming out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we'll come out there. We'll we'll probably come out there and just live stream for a little bit and just kind of see the environment and show everybody the environment standing there. If we can get a pass to stand out there. Yeah. yeah. And I'm bringing yeah. donuts. Yeah. Right. Give it, bring me, let me get bring a union hat or something, man. Yes. There we go. They're going to love us. I actually us. wanted you guys to come out there. I know. I, I, I understand where you were coming from. Yeah, I wanted to, you know, because, you know, Tim, I got there... He gets crazy, we get excited. I might I get crazy, we get excited out there. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest, excited. man. Like, right. Shout out to y'all and like, and because I know the importance of um, having to keep your cool, having to uh, make sure that you don't get too riled up. And I don't th- you gotta know your flaws in life. I don't think I'm mature enough yet. If somebody hit me right. with a truck. I'm just like, you like, like, yeah. just like, yeah. like, yeah. Don't hit me with no truck. Like I told you, I'm, I'm coming in the cab. You know, it's like. He said, you guys keep costing like that, we're going to take you to jail. So I got a pocket full of money and we're prepared to do this. This is our livelihoods we're right. fighting for. But here's what you got to understand. Them truckers are driving into us and you're just standing there and watching it. You're supposed to exactly. protect and serve. So who are you protecting and serving, him or me? Exactly. Hey, and the truckers so, aren't from this area. So what, they just drive? And this well, street is mine too. It, 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 yes. I do electric back in Mansfield, Ohio in the 90s. Right. National it's Guard, they in the SWAT team fired tear gas and rubber riot bullets into the crowd. That's they the just one where they're driving into This is mellow. And driving into the Detroit, people. Michigan? Yeah, I'm from Detroit. Oh, 
Why you got the purple and bridge up there? Oh, because it was uh, ten dollars at Ross, my nigga. <laughs> 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 uh, that's okay. The New Yorkers are fine with this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta understand, understand. we've converted him into our family. Everybody, so we, right. we have family events. Wait. He's always there. Yeah. Every, everybody listening, um, I recorded this video right here. This truck was trying to drive right into us. And he did not want to stop. There was about 30 or 40 brothers and sisters out there. And that guy was trying to mow us down. That this truck is moving forward. That, I've like, got they the are, full length feet. That, yeah. that truck is not standing still. This drive. I'm seeing. That's the thing. Well, I, we had a car that's why I'm going to. I'm gonna have to do all mine from the side because right, right. I get tapped by a truck. I'm just, I'm yeah. just the hell with this podcast. So, so, <laughs> like, I'm, real, quick, money. <laughs> real quick, real quick, guys. Before before we wrap this up, what advice would you give to um, some of these people that are out of work right now? Not necessarily the G the GM direct employees, but the but the people that are the in these memes. other plants, the Brandon. <laughs> like, what advice would you give them right now? Be that, patient. Be if you patient. need anything, Save just come to the local 1853. Like, they're, no. they're, they're freaking out over the Save bills and everything. Can, yeah. I mean, yeah. we... Um, if you got to get another job, get another job for the time being. Right. Yeah. Why, why don't we... Or you can hit that donate button. <laughs> Go to the page. There's a donate button, guys. Yeah, the shop now button. If you click it, it takes you to our Patreon. Anyways, that's not why we're here. So, what about if we uh, if we put a a Facebook like group together, and in that Facebook group, we we find employers that are willing to hire them, and we have the people who are needing that work. You know, we put them mm. bam, bam, right there together. Yes. Yeah. You know, with the understanding, the employers have the understanding. This that, is to the strike. Yeah, this, this is, is this is temporary work, but I can use this work. Temporary. Right. Yeah. See, yeah. This is the thing. Us as union something. members, we can't get another job if we're making more than two hundred fifty. I'm not talking about. Oh, this is for the right. other plants right. affected. Right. <laughs> yeah. The problem with that. I wanted to start to go find me a page, right. and I thought about it because I got a friend named Brittany that's out of work. Right. You know, and she's stressing. She's got kids. She's got a mortgage. Yeah. yeah. Problem so, with that? They're making three hundred on unemployment laid off. Wait, wait. Not, what? I don't know some about of some of them. Not all of them. We are. These people. <laughs> these people know. They'll. Know, they know who they are. We don't know their names. We don't know them directly, but they know who they are. And what do you want to call that? What do you want to do? Me and you, we can throw the page together and just invite business owners, and then invite people. And then we can find you a job yeah, right yeah. now, too. <laughs> hey, we um, got to come up with a name for Local 1853 it. helping out. Uh, yeah, right. or, or I don't. There we have go. to clear it if support we can use it. Well, you yeah. can support the strike. Uh-huh. There you go. Support the strike. Yeah, we can, we can put that together. Jobs, right. jobs for people affected by the strike. Right, oh. right, right, right. There you go. Then how about that community? You uh, throw that out there. Um, yes, community unity. Uh, community, community unity. Of 2019 strikes. You know, so, you know. so if you know any business owners that need work, laborers, whatever, even women can go on the laborers' jobs and do the uh, like the construction, the cleanup jobs and stuff like that. If you don't know how to work heavy machinery and all that stuff, they've got positions out there for everybody. I know that probably sounded sexist. Sorry, there it is. But there's, there's work out there, and maybe we can put a, a group together and try and. No, I think we're still live. I, I think they, we're still live. Yeah, we are. Here it is. It's fetching it back first. up now. They also, uh, they also got Tennessee Workforce Development Centers. That, yeah. You know, that they can Tennessee. Okay. Tennessee Say Tennessee it one more time, a little bit louder. All right. For everybody listening uh, that's affected by the strike, for everybody that works at CLI, Magna, all the other companies that work for GM, you also we're gonna put a Facebook page for y'all together to uh, to try to find jobs, temporary work. But you also got the Tennessee Workforce Development Centers in your local town, Columbia and stuff like that, where you can go and sign up and look for work. If we're out of, out on strike for more than a month and you are desperately needing work, again, it's Tennessee Workforce Development Center. Right. And, and just to clarify, this isn't for the the UAW workers that are striking the GM plant. This is for the uh, third parties. That, yes. So we'll try and figure that out and throw it together. If you know business owners and needing stuff, please contact us. Yes. Inbox any of us. We'll Tag throw it together. The, business, the more you can reach out to these business owners for different things and different gigs, yes, the more we can help. 
Jazz, you got something? Yeah, for? I'm with L and W Perfection, so I need drywall painters and um, cleaners. So let me know. Yeah, there it is. Boom. Okay. Boom. Already, we're starting off. Yeah. There you go. I can't even read that far. Do we have any other questions in the comments? I can't. Uh, I mean, there's. We've consistently had hundreds of people on here. So there's all kind of stuff. But, I mean. I hope y'all were educated. Yes. Tonight. I'd like to thank you guys for coming out. Yeah. And um, stay on the uh, lookout for that Facebook page. That was a great idea. Right, yeah. For yeah. sure, for sure. Let me get this camera back. There we go. <laughs> Um, I'd like to thank you guys for coming out. Um, good luck out there in the in the field in the what is it called the war path? I guess the trenches, man. The trenches, yeah. The trenches. Um, we're gonna join y'all. I, I, we'll get together. We'll talk about what day we'll come out there. Yeah. So yes. And um, I got your signs in the truck. Right. Well, hey. Right. Right. Oh, what size you need? Right. Oh, what size you need? Medium. I need a medium. Oh, I'm a six X kind of guy. Look at all this, <laughs> all this truck. This is this is truck blocking material. <laughs> the truck is going. It's going to get. Use your <laughs> right. <laughs> the next video you're gonna have, he's just gonna be walking with a pickers. Move out the way. I got this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't, worry. Don't worry. He's not gonna budge me. Uh, <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> it's like hitting a small cow, man. <laughs> The tires start smoking. Yeah. Like, what you got? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everybody got a new port. <laughs> so. Remember when? Yeah, that yeah. I got his 4X. Yeah, I, I need a 6. No, I'm going to get you a 4X. Oh, no. Oh, the oh, they're 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 Yeah. Some on the yeah. Side. yeah. yeah can, Give me two 4Xs yeah. and we'll yeah. put yeah. them together. Hey, we'll, just, we'll, just, we'll just cut like the, the front off of it, leave the collar, and wear it like a Superman. Cape. Right, right, yeah, right, right. We can do it. We can do it. Oh, yeah. I've got all I got unicorn heads back there, cow heads. We'll show out that bitch. We have nothing to lose. We'll work with y'all. You know how many brought the unicorn head tonight? Yeah, that thing's amazing. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a good morale boost. Yeah, yeah. Hold yeah. <laughs> so, out the, the grounds. Everybody, just hold on. We're out there doing this for not just us, but for you too. The entire middle class. Right, right. The entire middle you know, class. The Over class. the whole country. Right. right. And, and we're win, not just one. Win. We're many. Right. And I just want to like put it out there once again because I'm I love information and facts. For what what is it? The whenever the it's not unionized anymore, the standard of living. Yeah, drops. if you go back and look, the standard of living dropped. It's in direct correlation. To the amount of organized labor in the country. Yes, so uh, you need to support the strike, support your local union, whatever, whatever you feel in your heart, because this is going to affect you whether you realize it or not. Your ignorance will not like save right. you. Educate yourself. Educate yeah, yourself. And one other fact on that, you might want to put it, put in there. Not only does the standard of living go down, the direct relationship with the or amount of organized labor in the country. As our standard of living and organized labor went down, the rich getting richer went up. Went up. Yeah. So there's gains. Every time we lose, there's gains. Uh, well, for Bernie Sanders, he talks about this all the time. Yeah, I was about to say. Right. I know we weren't going to get political, but right, right. I was going to do it. So, right. um, thank you guys for coming out. This, is, um, this has been an experience. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Subscribe. Check out the second part when we go out on the picket lines with these guys and donate. Look at <laughs> this guy. <laughs> so, uh, T Talks, Jasmine. Don't need to of anyone. Yes, thank you. Is there any anything you'd like to say? Um, make sure they're there at the time. This is your camera. Oh, hey, there you hey. go. Oh yeah, hey, make sure I'm, I'm legit hard though. Like if anybody has any experience in drywalling, um, any in renovations, Paint. painting. Cleaning, L and W perfection. I paint and I clean. The website. Yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. Well, <laughs> you, know, you paint. I'm hiring because after today, I've learned so much. Yes. Like I said, I've never, I've heard of the U. You know, Are your working conditions better? The only better? time I ever thought, you know, I guess for me. <laughs> Two backgrounds. Like Don't make me unionize. Only time I went up there was for a wedding, and they would tell me, you know, the union pays for this. Okay, cool. This is nice. So to know that they're fighting. Um, they're losing right now as in you know as money speaks but when it's all over and said and done everything will go back to normal and hopefully in a better place for everyone not just the people who are over the com companies making millions of dollars while their workers are getting beat up 
and they're not caring. So I've learned so much. I'm really glad <laughs> that I was here. Right, right, right. <laughs> Seriously. This is yeah. real. This is real talk. So, I just love the fact that we're fighting against the man. The right. man. There he is. Man, the people, man. Yeah. Yeah. Unity is strong. Right. Yeah. Um. Anything else, man? Can Can I Can I say something? Yeah. Go sure. for it. You know, I just I want to state this. You know, and this is inside the walls. Our union. You know, we bicker and we fight, but at the end of the day, we're brother and sisters and we're blood. Right. And whether we're family or not through blood, we're family through union. And I would have his back and run and drop everything in, in a drop of a dime, just as I've her. And you could ask her whenever she has, needs me, all she does is pick up a phone call. Listen. And this is only gonna make us stronger. So yeah. the more you fight us, the stronger we're gonna get. Absolutely. And, and just to show proof of that, not a single one of us worked in the same area. Nope. Wow. And look, I just, wow. for the first time, I met him for the first time on Sunday. Right. For and real? we've been For like real. this since. Right. We, all, yeah. we all just met this week. <coughs> wow. Oh, this is beautiful. So, right, right. Right. Steve and Bob and this is going to have an effect <laughs> nationally, group. but yeah. locally you're going to see a stronger effect now because we're going to be more united than ever when we yep. go back in. GM yeah. thinks they can destroy this union, but they're dead wrong. They, they, right. And they're going about it all the wrong way. They are. They're going they about all They're just and, making us stronger. And these tactics that they that they choose, man, it's like some tyrannical like we was talking yeah, before yeah, the yeah. podcast. It's like nineteen eighty four type shit, right? right. Man, that fight big brother. Evil, right? Evil. He Cut off the insurance, then direct eighteen wheelers to come to. Yeah. And they Bring them the to, to an entrance down. that they've never really used before. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Just to antagonize. And that that's that southern interest isn't even really set up for trucks. Like no, 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 that's what I was what thinking. Says, yeah. That's what I was it's fucking been thinking. Like forever. Yeah. Golly. So so the so signs on trucks the in where the daycare is. Yeah. That's yeah, crazy. Not safe that's all. not safe at all. Like that's yeah. that that's southern interest if you guys don't realize. That there's two entrances. There's one that's only for employees, which is it clearly even looks like it's like this. Yeah, uh, eighteen well is not supposed to be there. Right. So the fact that you're telling me this, and and I, it's been so many times I've been running late and I've had to take that that, that quick entrance right yeah. there. So I know how exactly those moves. Yeah, that's not that's not safe. It's not smart. It's not it's not even feasible because like the, to be able to get the trucks to where they got to load up, you got to go a long way around, right? Right. Like, so they're just being they're, they're being. The they're they're the injuring themselves business wise to, right. to injure the strike. Man, that's some shit. So, to the parents oh. at the daycare, they need to make a stand and make sure those trucks don't come in there because it's not safe for the kids. Let them, not, know, they're, they're let them know they're not the target of this. They are not the target. Right. We have babies. We love your babies. The daycare is there because <laughs> you guys are working. The daycare is there yes. because yeah. of you. And, and they are safe. We will not let right. anything happen to those kids. Right. Or the parents going to get Or the them. parents, right. right. Yeah, yeah. We, have, we have nothing against them. It's, nothing. It's no. all about GM. We're yeah. all, we're, we are only against GM. Right. That's it. It just happened to share the same entrance. That's it. That's all. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> just don't, don't be disillusioned by what, what they try to make you think. Like, right. It's crazy. But... It's the SS Who That. There yeah, We got a roll. For, Sorry, y'all. Thank you for uh, listening to this this special presentation of an exclusive interview with the uh, UAW. We have the uh, shout out to the local 1112. We got uh, 1853. Yeah. Any other ones? I don't want to. That's what we got. All right. All right. We're all 1853 now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm so 1853. Oh, yeah. oh. There you go. Throw it up. Throw it up. I'm 1853. <laughs> 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 Community <laughs> unity. Um, support your, your the the union workers when you see them. Uh, uh, blow your horn like I do. do I do. If you yeah. see a blue BMW, I've I've drove by every day and blew the horn on my way to and from work. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. felt bad because I was in the BMW. I wasn't in the hey, GM vehicle. Yeah, I don't but I, slide. I wasn't hey. gonna bring it. <laughs> <laughs> feel free to pull over and get out and take some pictures with everybody. Yeah, feel yeah. free. Yeah, so hey, I'm yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm hoping yeah, my man. timeline gets flooded Educate after this. Educate yourselves because. Yeah. This has been really enlightening. Right. Like crazy. So, but yeah, that's it for the day, y'all. Um, show support. Uh, stop by, stop by. apparently. Show support to to your uh, your Teamsters. Mm -hmm. And um, drop off some donuts, yeah. Right. Food. <laughs> Come talk to us. Lead us out, Brandon. Um, well, I mean, we'll see you again. Hope everybody stays blessed. Uh, Sunday. Have a, good, have a good rest of the week. We'll see you Sunday. Yeah. Um, 
Welcome to the mother shit, bitches. <laughs> Who that? 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 Who that?